The self-issue permits program allows certified carriers to issue their own single trip over dimension permits without prior analysis by ODOT staff. This video covers three aspects of the program. Basic information, certification requirements, and recertification processes. The actual dimensions allowed in the self-issue permits program are covered in a separate video. Let's start with some basic information. The self-issue permits program in Oregon has been available to motor carriers since the mid-1990s. Recent technology changes have allowed these permits to be issued through Oregon Trucking Online, our online portal. New carriers that meet the requirements are now allowed into the program. Single trip permit applications are normally reviewed by an ODOT analyst prior to issuance. Provisions of these permits include specific routing, pilot vehicle requirements, and road restrictions that may impact the move. This information must be included with self-issued permits as well. Now let's talk about certification requirements. To become certified in the self-issue permits program, the motor carrier must meet the following 12 requirements. Have an established motor carrier account, register for Oregon Trucking Online, and be approved to charge fees to the motor carrier account. Successfully complete a training program administered by the Overdimension Permit Unit. As a side note, all individuals that self-issue permits must complete this training program. Have purchased a minimum of 125 single trip permits for oversized overweight movements within the 12 months preceding the application for self-issuance of permits. This requirement is only for initial certification, not for subsequent recertification. Sign an agreement of responsibility for the permitted moves not have more than one late highway use tax report or road use assessment fee mileage report in the 12 months preceding the application, have maintained current vehicle and tax registration with the department during the 12 months preceding the application, have no suspensions of tax registration with the department during the 12 months preceding the application, have no more than one late payment of fees due in the 12 months preceding the application, have no more than a 15% underpayment finding on the most recent weight mile tax audit. Have no incidents involving damage or potential damage to any roadway, roadway device or structure resulting from an oversized overweight permitted movement during the past 12 months preceding the application. Have a satisfactory safety rating with the United States Department of Transportation, Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration, or the Oregon Department of Transportation Motor Carrier Transportation Division. Filing proof of general liability insurance with the Motor Carrier Transportation Division. This is required for interstate carriers only. Finally, let's talk about recertification processes. Initial certification lasts up to six months. Before the end date, ODOT staff will review these requirements again, as well as self-issued permits to ensure compliance with the program. Recertification lasts up to two years. About three months prior, ODOT will send the carrier a recertification application. Once the application is received in our office, staff will again review the requirements and self-issued permits for conformance with the program. Our goal is to offer a successful self-issue permits program that protects the safety of the traveling public, protects the infrastructure of the state of Oregon, and voluntary compliance through education.